Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rex here with Carbony Plus. Uh, today we're working through the final details of the set of kitchen cabinets. And one of those details is our crown molding. So we will actually pre-assemble as much of this crown molding as we can here in the shop at this stage. Uh, primarily getting our outside corners pre-assembled and pre-finished prior to installation. Uh, we find that gives us a better result, a uh, better finished product in the end. Uh, again, like, like I said, we're focusing on our outside corners, getting those pre-assembled, but we're, going, we're making all of our cuts. And we may have to make, do some fine tuning on site. But um, So to show you how we got to this point, we'll head over to the miter saw and get all of our cutting done. All right, so when cutting your crown molding, you want to cut your crown molding upside down and backwards or inverted in the uh, miter saw. So up against your fence and then on the table. Um, it can be helpful to make some markings uh, I've got some tape down. Um, they also make some crown stops for different table uh, miter saws. So uh, a few things that help there. But uh, so once you've got your crown nested in the miter uh, saw, then you're just simply cutting a 45 angle on your work pieces. You'll make your markings on this top edge. That's usually going to represent the intersection of your wall, or in this case, cabinets. And so then we'll just uh, go from there. These are your nice clean miter cut. Ready for the next piece. Okay, before we get into the assembly, I want to talk real quick about glue. Uh, so a couple glues that we have used is this 2P10 uh, super glue, basically, with an activator. Um, it works really well. It's going to give you pretty much an instant bond. However, it can be a little brittle. I have had them break when they've been stressed. Um, and the other thing I don't really like about it is when you put that piece together, or your two pieces together, and you get a little bit of squeeze out, but squeeze out dries so hard and so fast, it's hard to clean up and, or sand off without uh, sanding too much into your wood. So my glue of choice here is this uh, Tight Bond Quick and Thick. Um, it's definitely not as quick as the 2P10 here, but it, uh, <clears throat> it is good and quick. So we use the Tight Bond Quick and Thick in combination with some Collins miter clamps. Um, so we'll give you a close-up of these here in a minute um, and this combination works really well once it's all glued up we can do a little little touch-up sanding and then it's ready for paint all right so our glue up here is pretty straightforward we're going to apply a generous amount of glue to our miter that around a little bit get our pieces together
All right, now that we've got all our pieces glued together, one more detail I want to take care of. And uh, so we want to acknowledge the fact that at the end of the day, what we're doing here is we're gluing in the grain together. So I want to add a little bit of uh, reinforcement to these joints here. So I used to have some dowel stock on hand. I forget what I had it for, but I, I used it all up. And then one day I realized that these uh, pocket hole plugs work well as well also. So I'm just gonna lay a bead of glue down in the back side of this miter. Press a couple of these down in, the, in there to, once that glue sets up, that'll give us this extra support. At least I'll feel better about it. Alrighty, well, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I'll try to grab some uh, finished photos of this crown, either after it comes out of paint or maybe even after the install to show you the finished results and uh, kind of the, the real reason why we do it. And that's the, the finished results. So uh, anyway, I hope you found it helpful and thank you for watching. Here you can see a close up shot of the reinforcements we've added to the back side of the miters. Here's a shot of the Collins miter clamps in action. I believe a very minimal hole, no more than a pin nail usually. It'll touch up and it's good to go. Here's a shot of one of those pieces of pre-finished crown, fresh out of paint. You see how nice and clean those miters are. I have a hard time achieving that level of finish on site, so that's why we like to do them in the shop.